What's up guys, this is Ratman, and I'm going to show you how to make a sound stop on cue on FL Studio. A lot of times I use this for samples, but uh, you can use it for uh, most sounds. So what you're going to do first is open up your super legal copy of FL Studio that I'm sure you all purchased. We will then go to uh, go to your sounds. This isn't an intro tutorial to Fruity Loops, so... I'm hoping you know how to use it, the basics of it at least. I'm just showing you this one thing. So here I've got my sample. Got it. If you play it, it, you know, it's a nice little sound there. First thing you want to do that actually is important for this. You want to click on the actual sound here. Go over to this use loop points button. Make sure you click it a couple times. I don't think it really even matters whether it's lit or not lit. It's lit! You just gotta click it a couple times. Why? I don't know. I'm not the not the brains behind all that, but I did figure it out somehow. Anyways, you, that allows you to restart the sound each time it is clicked on. So, for example, notice the sound uh, starts over rather than overlapping. I'll show you an example of what overlapping would sound like. See, real messy. But this way it restarts. Next thing you're going to want to care about is your volume tab. It is this one right here next to the piano roll over here. As you can see, this determines how loud or quiet it is. That's loud. That's quiet. We all we all following along? Okay. So we got the default right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put another sound right there. Let's say I want the sound to stop halfway through. I'm gonna put this second one at zero. Completely gone. Now watch when I play. It stops whenever I want it to stop. So, if I want it to sound nice and clean, let's say there's a little clicky noise at the end of your sound or whatever, it's always nice to put this near the end so that it will not play the, the very end of the clip if it is messy. That allows, now my second sound, it's gonna, it's gonna start at the same time as this one cuts off so they do not overlap. Here at this sound, we got a little. Oops, you can hear there's a little at the end. I want that to go away, so so I'm gonna do one there too. Now let's say I want to use it to my advantage of a melody cutting out before some nice drums come in. You know how the songs like to cut out. Uh, at the end of a um, end of four bars I'll just go ahead and show you so I got one right here I want it to cut out right there and I'll not confuse you I'm gonna leave these back where they were I'm really focusing on this one right here so what it'll do oh, what it'll do So that might sound good on somewhere like this. So that will apply to pretty much any sound. I mean, uh, some plugins, VSTs might get a little weird with that, but uh, for the most part, it's gonna work with anything. See, I got some bass right here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Let's go. But again, I can't stress how uh, important it is to make sure you click the loop point, use loop points at the start. Pretty simple thing. You should be able to take care of it from there. You know, if you got any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, check out my SoundCloud 
ryanman.bandcamp.com follow me on twitter ryanman510 thank you for your time folks and uh we out yeah